Hello, my name is Ty. I am your homicidal chauffeur. And welcome back to Football Manager 19. Since our last episode, we had a small, friendly European tour. The first game of which we drew nil-nil in Holland. In the next game against France, Kenny Saif scored a great goal. But then Antonio Griezmann leveled in the 38th minute. And it finished 1-1. And I felt pretty good about our results. However, then we had the draw for World Cup qualifying. And we are undoubtedly in the group of death. With not only us in Canada, but also Panama and Trinidad. Three of the six teams from the last hex. So for the first round of games against Canada and Trinidad... The only major addition I have is Jonathan Amon, who's in for Emerson Hyman, out with injury. Up top, we have Bobby Wood, followed by Ariola, Nagby, and Polisic. In the center are Acosta and McKenney. The back line is Garza, Brooks, Palmer, Brown, and Yedlin, with Horvath and goal. Team talk didn't go great. It's never a good sign. All right, here we go from Toronto. We are using a pressing style, but since we're on the road, I've gone with a more balanced mentality. Just play your game. The result will come. Garza doesn't seem to think so. Layering. Canada do have some good players. They've had good results lately. Alfonso Davies. Garza into the box. Wood heads it wide. Polisic. Doesn't beat the first man. I'm really thinking about taking him off corners. Garza again. Palmer Brown this time. Bjorn makes the save. Garza has picked up an injury. Polisic. Brooks. Saved off the line. Cavallini can't win it. Canada have had the more possession, but we have the only shots on target. Corner. Brooks heads away. Bobby Wood. Out to Polisic. That's a good ball. Polisic. Polisic will take the corner. No Garza now. Free kick. Canada really seemed content just to hold it. I think you'd want to be more proactive when you're at home. I think I need to up my mentality if they're going to be so casual on the ball. Back pass. That's dangerous. Bobby Wood in. Soria, that's a good ball. He's offsides. Garza from the edge of the box. Polisic. Palmer Brown. Yedlin. Acosta. Out to Yedlin. Yedlin. Good ball to Areola. Easy save from Bjorn. I definitely feel good about how the first half has gone. We have five shots on target. In the road team, we just need one breakthrough. Polisic to McKenney. Acosta.
Garza. Osorio wins it. We'll probably take Garza out at the half. Yedlin into the box. Bobby Wood. A weak header. And that's halftime. Nil-nil. Like I said, they're definitely controlling possession, but we've been the better team. We tell them to keep working hard. The result will come. As I mentioned, we need to sub off Garza. I'm putting Ream on. Acosta to Areola. Nagby. Areola. Homer Brown can't do it. Nagby wants to come off. He's been hurt. I know who I want to put on. Yep, Sebastian Legette. I'm going to change my tactic with him a little bit too. He likes to be the Trequaista or something. Bobby Wood heads it on. Acosta. Easy take again from Bjorn. I almost feel the need to go attacking here, but like I said, being on the road, should I be happy with the draw? Wood. We just haven't been able to test him. That was kind of a dangerous back pass. Canada now. Laren. Laren offsides. We need another sub. That's off the bar, maybe? Putting Johansson on for Wood. Ten minutes left. Akindeli comes on for Laren. Couple blocks in there. Good defense. Osorio. Tesho heads it wide. McKinney wins it. No, not quite. Out wide for Osorio. Into the box. And like I said, I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about this draw. Do I want to go more attacking? Yedlin. Yedlin. I don't know if that was a pass or a shot, but... Kind of win it out. Ream to McKinney. Areola. Legit. Ooh, that was a pretty good chance. I'd say maybe the best we've had. Good ball to Cavallini. Davies. Tesho. Drove off with the save. Wow, lazy ball there. Kaye picks it up. Brooks now. Thank you. 86 minute. Still anybody's game, really. That's a horrible back pass. Corner to the USA. Acosta. McKinney heads it down. Reject can't get to it. Not for a throw. We have. One more sub in this? What do we think? Put Zardes on for Areola. Oh, I'm out of subs. Cavallini. Cavallini. Are you serious? 89th minute. No. Osorio takes it out wide. Where's Tim Ream? There's the ball. The rest of the defense is nowhere to be spotted, and that's an easy finish. Almighty. Wow. I said this was a hard group. This is the team that wasn't in the hex last time.
We have nine shots on target to their two, but we're losing one nothing. I don't know what that says about our finishing. It's pretty bad, obviously. I don't know how to how to change my tactics to make my strikers finish. I mean, do I need to just put more out there? Offsides. Legette over to Ream. And that's the game. That was not good enough. Alright, I'm not screaming and yelling yet. Aaron Trustee has come out and said that he supports my management. So, it's bad that he has to say that, but thank you. Easy win predicted for USA. Because there's such a thing in CONCACAF. We absolutely do need a victory. So I've rotated the squad ahead of the Trinidad game. Stefan is in goal now. Robinson comes in at left back. Trustee is at center back. And Tyler Adams is at right back. McKenney and Parks are in midfield. And Josh Sargent is up top with Areola, Leggett, and Polisic playing behind him. And I'm going with the more attacking mentality right from the start. All right, see if this goes any better than last time. Positive mentality. And do they like this formation? Yes, that's good. USA and Trinidad from Rio Tinto Stadium. We are favorites, but if you look at the form, ours is poor and theirs has been excellent. So we're still going to come out attacking, but this is not an easy game. We should be winning this one comfortably. Mitchell to Archer. Back to Rengdesen. Pulisic now. Whoa, that's a hard foul. Come on, where's the ref on that? It's only 20 seconds in. Parks. Out wide to Adams. He Keeps it in. And that's out for a corner. Polisic. McKinney. Parks. Come on, I thought we were playing the press. Like, we need more urgency than this. There it is. Sargent has it blocked. Areola. Out to Polisic. He wins a corner. Into the box. Brooks gives it away. Polisic. Too far out to be trying that, I think. Legette out to Adams. He wins a corner. Polisic. Parks. Out to Robinson. Archer gives away the corner. Brooks heads it out of the box. Polisic. To Areola, his shot is blocked. Adams to Legette. Parks to Legette to Adams. Into the box.
Parks to Leggett. He shoots. And that's half time. Still nil nil. Let's keep it up and we'll get the result. I am going more attacking, however. We cannot afford a draw here. No subs yet. Legit to Parks. Robinson. Legit. Oh, another horrible foul. Come on. Thank you. Yellow. He's out of here. Now we have the man advantage. That's wide of the net. So we're the better team. We have the man advantage. We're playing at home. Can we get a breakthrough goal? It's so frustrating. Robinson now into the box. No. Corner. Polisic. McKenney. Wide. Parks to Robinson. He'll win a corner. Polisic. McKenney heads it down, but right to Trinidad. I think it's time for a sub. Putting Bobby Wood on for Josh Sargent, who's been very quiet. George, trustee, sends it away. Are you kidding me? We don't have a shot on target, even though we have a man advantage. It's just been pathetic. Robinson has it tackled away. Another corner. Into the box. McKenney. It's a clumsy tackle. And he's shown the red. Yup. Unbelievable. Alright, I'm not going to change anything. I do want to make a sub though. I'll take Leggett off for Nagby. We need him in some kind of attacking role, though. Confirm. Polisic into the box. Brooks just over the bar. Very attacking now. Ten minutes left. Still nil-nil. Brooks to Robinson. He sends that up to Bobby Wood. Bobby Wood now. That's tackled away. Corner. Polisic. Trustee. Doesn't win the header. Robinson to Parks. Areola to Nagby. Polisic. Tackled away. Nobody's there. That's where McKenney should be. Trustee wins it though. Adams to Polisic. Nagby. Fresh legs. Shoots. Their first shot on target. Yup. In the 82nd minute. Into the box. Nagby again. He shoots. Save. Polisic. Free kick Trinidad. Areola. Polisic. That's a corner kick. 89th minute. Trustee. No. George is on it now. He clears it up to James. Over to Williams. Four minutes of stoppage time. Trustee wins it. Powder. Corner kick. 
Guerra. Come on, lad. Stefan wins it. Ariola into the box. Bobby Wood. Adams. Adams wins the corner. Polisic. Trustee gives it away. James now. Over to Powder. Trinidad on the break. Williams into the box. Parks to Nagby. Areola now. He sends it into the box. Nobody's there. And that's the throw in. Parks is fouled. Come on, really? Areola into the box. He can't get on the end of it. Brooks. Back to Areola. Parks. And that's the end of the game. Nil, nil. That's extremely upsetting. Now I'm going to scream and yell at him. Aggressive. That was not good enough. There's no excuse. Brooks was our man of the match with two key headers. Now we will hold a team meeting. We're in real danger of not qualifying here. Hey guys, before we sign off, I thought I would bring you what I think is going to be an interesting game. The promotion final second leg between Chicago Fire and Deportivo Los Angeles, also known as Chivas USA. Chicago won their away leg 2-0 and come back home to Toyota Park, seemingly ready to celebrate. Tony Chani has been one of Chicago's star players. Shivas doesn't have too many players that I recognize, but you would expect that. Davis out wide. He shoots. Burt on the ball. He loses out. Vera now. Portillo. Lopez up to Spees. Spees out to Salazar. That's a pretty good ball. Now into the box. Jan. He puts it away. 3-0 aggregate. Chicago are going up. This is arguably the most valuable game of the calendar. When you consider the TV money that you get from being in the top flight. Salazar. He shoots. That's 2-0 on the night for Chicago. And sloppy giveaway by Deportivo. Hamilton. Spees again to Shinovsky. Chani sends it in. Ian King now. Remember Chicago were in this fixture last season and were upset by Charlotte. As Deportivo draw one back there.
They still need three more. Not impossible. Now only two more as it's even on the night. It's a beautiful finish. So 2-2 two, two at half time. If it finishes even, then Deportivo will be promoted on away goals. Anything less, and Chicago, Chicago goes up. Into the box, Spees heads it wide. Lopez with a tidy finish from the free kick. 5-2 on aggregate. That is beautiful. Around the wall. How? He sends it up to Amaya. That's a great save by Miller. Portillo into the box. Hume heads away. And King to Portillo. Tani heads away to Fids. Burt. Wheeler to Burt. Portillo, Vera, that's close but wide. Angola. Spees. Out to Salazar. That's a great tackle. Vera to Ang King. He has room to work. Ooh, tackled away. Salazar. Spees. Spees. 6-2 aggregate. That should do it, you would think. Seemed iffy for a moment. He runs right past his defender, sends a good ball over to Spees. Amaya, another good ball, and another good save from Miller. Corner, Miller grabs it. Into the box, Chani heads away. Two bites at the apple from Hal. Lopez into the box. Agnola heads it away for Burt. Burt and King. He'll continue the run to Portillo. Portillo, not a great shot. Hal, 15 minutes left. A four-goal deficit. Amaya Tavera. He shoots from way out. How clears it out. L.A. need more than that, though. Chani. Agnola heads away again.
Ian King. He's fouled. Chani could be in trouble here. That's a second yellow. Yes, he is off. Five minutes left, though. I think Chicago will be satisfied with his work. Good ball out to Aguilar. Portillo. Amaya to Aguilar. He has a man out wide. It's Burt. Hume kicks it away. Hernandez shoots. That's well wide. Allen. To Amaya. Not this time. Trafford back pass to Miller. He's content to just kill time. And there's the whistle. Chicago are going up after two seasons in the second division. I said it would be an interesting game. It wasn't necessarily a close game, but it certainly had more goals than the rest of the episode. So a quick look at the league tables. Here you see that Chicago was even on points with Tampa Bay, and it came down to the second tiebreaker of goal differential. So we'll see Tampa in the top flight next season. And also joining them again will be Houston. They had a solid season. Colorado and San Jose are still struggling to gain promotion. Going down are Charlotte and Louisville, which is no surprise. But joining them will be New England Revolution. DC United stayed up despite having the same number of points because they had more wins. Sacramento has managed to avoid the drop, and Cincinnati has gone up to 12th. In the playoffs, we had Atlanta United, New York Red Bulls, Seattle, and LA Galaxy. And advancing to the final, we have Atlanta and New York Red Bulls, who beat Seattle on penalties. Finally checking in with the U.S. Open Cup. Atlanta has already won that with a 2-0 victory in the final over Sporting Kansas City. So yeah, thank you very much. We have two weeks until our next game in the qualifiers against Panama. We'll check back next episode to see who won the final. My name is Ty. I am your homicidal chauffeur. This has been Football Manager 19. Thank you very much and good night.